Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great this morning. You know, the Bible is very clear about who the enemy is in our lives. Now, there's a couple of words that I want to talk to you about this morning. One of those words is dichotomy. The other one is trichotomy. So let me explain those words and ask you which one of those words you believe. Well, dichotomy means two. That's body and soul. Dichotomy, two body and soul. Trichotomy means body and soul and me. Body and soul and me. Dichotomy and trichotomy. Which one of those do you adhere to? Do you believe that there's only good and evil in the world? Or do you believe there's good and evil and you? That you have to make a choice. Now, it's very important to understand these principles because many people blame God for things that he didn't do. In fact, sometimes people blame the devil for things he didn't do. If you and I adhere to trichotomy, which I believe is a biblical principle, then I must take some responsibility for the decisions that I make and the choices that I choose. Now, they're very important to understand that God gives us blessings based on his word. There's no doubt about it. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It is goodness to my soul, the Bible says. Now the devil has come to steal, kill, and destroy. Now you and I have a choice. Are we going to allow God to lead us or the devil to destroy us? Which one of those things do you adhere to? Do you believe that there's only good and evil, dichotomy, body and soul, that's it? There's no other choices that you have? Or are you a person that believes that there is good, there is evil, and then there is your choice? You know, God has blessed us with the ability to be, if you would, uh, a high priest of the believer. We have our own opportunity to be obedient or to be disobedient based on the choices we make. Now, remember this. Everything that God ordains has power and God ordained Satan. The Bible teaches this in Ezekiel and also in Isaiah. Now these truths are very important because Satan uses his power to come against human flesh. We do not have wisdom within ourselves to make the right choices on spiritual matters. Now, we may be able to take a right at the uh, directional a sign that tells us to turn right. We may be able to go to the store and go down the fifth aisle and get some potato chips because that's the potato chip aisle. We may be able to go up to the cashier and give the right amount of money or remember our pin code on our debit cards because we've got some walking around sense. But spiritually speaking, we have to make choices that are spiritually discerned. Now, the Bible's very clear about this in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, that the natural man receiveth not the things of God for their foolishness unto him. And it's very important to understand that you and I have a choice in the matter. So, let me ask you this question. Are you blaming God for your bad decisions? Are you blaming God for not working things out in your life when you have made the decision to put you in the situation you're in. Please hear me. God cannot and God will not bless sin. He just won't do it. He loves you. He loves me. But he has a standard. And the standard is supported by his name. He is righteous and holy and just. And we're grateful that he is. Because he gives us mercy that we need greatly. Well, the devil steals, kills, and destroys. He tries to steal your thoughts and your imaginations. He tries to kill your desire to achieve. He tries to absolutely destroy everything that you're trying to accomplish. So you and I are almost like a balancing weight. We're almost in the middle of that pendulum trying to decide which one we're going to follow. Now, the Bible says, from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So I suppose the question is necessary to ask, where's your heart? Is your heart with doing right or is your heart with doing wrong? I have a young boy in the church, a student in high school, and he came to me the other day and he said, Pastor, a friend of mine found a dollar in the hallway. 
and he gave it to me and he said do you want this dollar and he said I took it and he was in my office and he said pastor what should I do with that dollar I said well the right thing to do is to take it to the office and he said is that the right thing I said well it's not yours it's not the person that found it someone lost it it's only a dollar but a dollar's a lot to a lot of people so you need to do the right thing by turning it in now this is a heart issue it's not a dollar issue it's a heart issue let me ask you where is your heart because God searches the heart Satan in his heart in his mind in his actions is trying to kill you he's trying to kill your influence your testimony he's trying to kill your your joy he's trying to kill your prosperity he's trying to kill your future Jesus died that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly so the choices that you make and the choices I make have to be mature choices because we have to take responsibility for the good and the bad therefore God will bless us according to his word for listen God is on your side God bless you we love you and goodbye